Commencing test evaluation A-176. During this procedure, no facility personnel will be permitted to enter S-101's containment chamber. S-101 is a highly dangerous anomaly. Be cautious and follow all safety procedures at all times. Subject C-493 will now be released into S-101's containment chamber. Oh, what do we have here? A human in my chamber. Hmm, this is another test then, I assume. Uh, I'm starting to get bored of this. So then, state your purpose, little one. Come on. Don't just sit there quivering. I want an answer. You don't know. Huh. Well then, that complicates things. Do you even know who I am? What? Why didn't they... Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to explain it to you then. I am what they call me, subject S-101. I am a monster, or an anomaly, as they might call us. The S before my number indicates that I am a highly dangerous monster that needs to be contained at all costs. Usually, they, the people containing us, send humans or monsters into my chamber to see how I react. Most of the time, I just kill them. But sometimes, I toy with them and throw them away when I get bored. And you appear to be one of those humans. Wait, what? But you look human. What is it that you can do? You don't know that either. You really are clueless, then. Are you new to the facility? Yeah? Hmm. Well, then I guess they've detected an anomaly in you, but they're not really sure what it is yet. Or maybe they're just hiding it from you. That's something they do a lot. They love to lie and keep information from us. It's all they do. And they love to hide us from the public eye and lie about our existence as well. <sighs> but anyway, when did they capture you? Hmm. Well, I don't know why they've decided to throw you in here with me if you've been here max a few days. Maybe there's something special about you. Well... We'll find out very soon. <laughs> What's that? You're close. I'm not fully human in my appearance. I'm only a humanoid monster, after all. I am very far from human. I'll show you what makes me a monster later. But anyway, it's playtime now. What am I doing? Nothing much. Just backing you into a corner so you can't run. Great. Now that we're here, why don't you give me a reason why I shouldn't rip you apart right now? <laughs> yes, I am still planning on killing you. I'm an S-ranked monster, after all. I explain this to you. Now come on, do something interesting. I do like it when my prey expresses a lot of fear. But is that really all you're gonna do? Huh, seems like it. Well, I'm going to have to spice things up a bit then. 
I'll start by picking you up. Whoa. What's this feeling? Wait, I I'll put you back down. What did you do? No, 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 don't be scared. I I'm not gonna hurt you anymore. I just want to know what you did to me. It makes it harder for me when you yourself don't know. Well, it doesn't matter now. We'll figure it out later. Just let me pick you up again. You'll be fine. Hmm. I don't know what it is, but it feels nice. It's like you radiate some kind of warmth I've never felt before. Hmm. Would you mind if I squeezed you? N no, I, I, m I must be patient. Shh, it's okay. You're gonna be all right. You can stop shaking now. It seems you've piqued my interest. Come, let me get you out of this corner. Here we are. I'll let you sit on my lap while I sit on my bed. Aw, good. Are you comfy? Very nice. Now, would you mind if I... played with your hair for a bit? Thank you. I don't know what's happening, but ever since I touched you for the first time, I just feel like I need to protect you. You're just so... adorable. Seeing you all scared in the corner, I just wanted it to stop. Seeing you afraid makes me feel afraid. Are you okay now? You're still quivering a bit. It's okay, I'll keep you safe. You feel safer when I hug you? Please, trust me, I won't hurt you. Just calm down for me, okay? Yes, that's good. Breathe. Thank you. I still can't get a hold of myself. I've never experienced this before. How could my feelings just change so suddenly? You did say you were an anomaly, right? Yes. This must be your ability. Whenever you are touched, you make the person who touches you happy. Maybe your touch triggers a dopamine or maybe serotonin response. That must be it. I don't know what else it could be. Well, regardless. This is great. I think I'll be keeping you from now on. You could be my very own little plaything. Don't worry. I only want to protect you. It doesn't matter what the facility thinks about this. I'm so powerful, they couldn't do anything about it. But talking about power, you don't know what my ability is, do you? Do you wish to see? It might be a little scary, but I assure you it's safe. Hmm? Is it okay if I show you? Okay. Here. I know, it's confusing. Basically, I can manipulate shadows. Bend and contort them to become whatever I want them to be. And I can make them interact with the real world. Here, I'll spawn a silhouette of myself. Shh, it's alright. You can touch them. See? Feels weird, doesn't it? Yes, it's, it's very cold. Our shades don't radiate heat like we do. The scientists have done some research on it, and they discovered that I don't need to use any energy to create these shadows. 
They are just the absence of light. So I can cast as many as I want. That's what makes me so dangerous. I can manipulate people's own shadows to turn on them. But I can't create shades through thick walls. That's why they keep me in this enclosure. I can't move through these walls, nor can I attack through them. Okay, I'll put the shade away now. Anyway, we don't need to talk about that now. Let's get back to you. You said that you were brought in recently, right? Yes. What was your life like before then? Hmm. Rare to hear of one that just had a quote-unquote normal life before being taken here. I'm very sorry it ended up like this for you, honey. But hey, if you stick with me, I might be able to get our freedom back. Ah, oh, your smell. It's intoxicating. I have to pull you closer. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, I got a little carried away. You're just too nice to not cuddle with. Let's just lay down. Come closer. There we go. I think that I can manage this. I'm getting used to it. I just have to control myself and not go too crazy. Ah, this is nice. But, you know they have cameras, right? Yes. They spy on us at all times. So... What if I use a little trick to get us some more privacy? Here, just hold on to me and don't be afraid. Shh, I know I it's know dark, it's dark. Don't, don't worry. worry. Just, look, just look into, into my eyes, eyes. My, my bright red, red glowing eyes. eyes. There we go. Good job. Can you see my body now? This is something I forgot to mention before. Not only can I create things using shadows, but I can also pull things into them. So, I pulled us both into my own shadow. It's almost like I have my own little pocket dimension. Here, nobody can see us from the outside world. We're nothing but a shadow to them. And we have no boundaries. We're just floating in negative space. So we can do whatever we want. Now, just let me hold you in my arms for a while. Try to relax. There's nothing you have to worry about here. Do you like it when I hold you like this? With my hand gently rubbing your back? Yes, keep on purring just like that. I love the little noises you make. It's so cute. Oh, is that a little yawn? Oh, is my sweetie getting tired? Oh, sweetheart. Shh. I think you should get some rest. You can barely keep your eyes open. It's okay. I'll keep you safe. Just lay your head on my chest while I cuddle you. Yes, that's it. Now, won't you fall asleep for me, darling, while I gently caress your back? Close your eyes and sink deeper into sweet slumber, little one. You are safe here. Hey guys, Scratch here. This audio was not written by me. 
It was written by Argon once again. Um, and I thank them very, very much for writing this script. And I thank her very, very much. This one was quite a bit longer than the rest of them. You probably noticed if you're subscribed. I'm very grateful that she wrote this script for me. But yeah, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I love and chat with comments, and you made it this far, so why not subscribe? Join the Patreon and the Discord, and yeah. Bye-bye.